when I was asked to resign, the Lord asked me to resign. And I, I obeyed and I came to him after resigning. I said, okay, this is how much I was earning when I was in the oil industry. And it, it, was, it was okay. It was okay. Ah, this is my, the inhabitants of my house. You know my house. So we, the life must go on with these people. Now you said I should stop working. And you did not ask the people to leave. <laughs> it means that my responsibilities have not reduced. And the source of income has been shut down. So what wisdom are you giving me now with which I will continue this community? I prayed. And you know what he told me? He said, teach. Teach. I said, all right. And this was COVID year. He said, teach. So I took my Bible. They had the camera on. And I began to teach the new studies, the new discoveries I had made in the Bible. I began to teach it. Then everything changed. That's it. That's just the summer. Everything changed. Everything changed. Who, who would have told me that the key to my prosperity after I resigned was teach? Teach. And I continued teaching until I was given the opportunity to teach a president. Still teaching. Yes. I opened the scriptures and I prophesied through scripture. A country this year now has invited, I'm on the program of that country in September. Yes, to come to them. Yes, the whole nation. What I was told is that I will have the opportunity to speak to 5 million people. So I'm crossing the million mark this year. Just doing what he said, teach. teach see many of us think there's a solution somewhere no it's it's in your spirit see if you know this power this power this power can make your mind life and you will know what to do yes, sir. you will know what to do you will know what to do he did not leave us helpless stay with him stay with him until you hear his voice those of us that don't have any other stronghold apart from him we we are humble enough to wait we are not in a hurry because we know that if we take off in a hurry like a tornado we are still going to crash land so there's no need to be in a hurry if you you, you have discovered that your life is totally dependent upon him you will wait you will wait you will wait you will wait we are not too busy for you we we are willing to wait on you until you make our minds live was it not you that wrote in the scriptures come let us reason together there's an invitation for your mind to come into the wavelength of his thoughts so that you can drink of his wisdom the wisdom by which he does his things you also can have access to that wisdom and then you begin to function in his ways doing producing the results that only him can produce because he has whispered into your mind i want us to pray in a moment and assure god that we are not too big to wait for you assure 